Hey, what is up guys? This is Turtwig TV here and I'm coming at you with the part 4 of my Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Let's Play. Now today we are just going to jump straight in when we are in Rustbro City and we are going to heal up actually quickly before we take down the gym. Here, yeah, so let's just jump straight into the PC Center. Just Turk, 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 Turk? Yeah, let's talk to Nurse. No, 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 oh my god, I can't even get my words out today. Let's talk to Nurse Joy there, and let's have a little run up towards the gym here. So this is usually a rock gym, but I'm going to lead off with um, Alpha Team to start with, as I take down this gym here. So this first guy, he is sending out a Porygon too. As I send out my Alpha Team, I'm just going to go straight for the or. Oh god. I'm just going to go straight for the air cutters here, and Alpha Teen is taking some serious damage on this, so I'm going to switch out and go into T-Toss, and just hit it with that. Why did you go Water Pulse? Why didn't you just go straight for the Stab Dragon Claw? And I hit it with the Stab Dragon Claw here, I'm going to outspeed, I'm not going to miss the Dragon Claw, I'm going to take this thing down. I've just realised how underleveled I am for this gym, and this could go hor horribly wrong. So I might go and catch myself a fifth Pokemon before I do anything else. So, um, check how much Pokeballs I have. I have 10 and a Great Ball, so that's alright. I'm going to heal up and I'm going to head out to the route above here and I'm going to catch myself a uh, fifth Pokemon, hopefully. Now, um, the, my question of the day t today, well, well, here we go. I'm just going to come straight out with the question of the day is um, what are you most looking forward to in the um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, guys? That's because I'm looking forward to seeing the whole of Hoenn in 3D and it's a long break. I could possibly get a Ludicolo here. Shout out to Brave New Globe. His mascot is Ludicolo, so I'm just gonna. Really, really, I knocked out the loot. Lombre. Well, I guess we're not catching anything on this route then. For God's sake, that's twice I've managed to lose out on catching Pokemon in routes. So, I'm gonna jump straight back into the gym here and hopefully take out the um, rest of the gym, hopefully. Um, if I don't really mess up again, but let's just continue on. Oh, I've got Teos and. Titos and um, Alphatine up front, so I'll be able to use those two and take on this double battle here. So he sends out a Blossom and a Blissey. Oh god, that Blissey is going to wall nearly everything. I'm just going to go for the Horn Drill on the Blissey, and I'm just going to... Uh, not Wall Pulse, I'm going to go straight for the Dragon Claw on the um, Blossom. Feather Dance here, that's probably... Oh god, Blissey, I hate you. I really do hate you, Blissey. But I'm just going to keep on spamming the Horn Drills. Ah, oh, Poison Point! No! 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 Not Poison Point! Alpha Teen, you... No, Titus, you cannot die on me! Oh, thank god whoever went for that Perish song. I'm going to switch both my Pokemon out here now then. So they don't go down to that Perish song here. Get the Intimidate off on both of... Oh, Blissey's got, um... Whatever it has, I didn't even read that. And Love Disc goes straight for the vital fl fl uh, fl uh, throw on um, this, uh, those two. So I am going to go for a Psychic on the Love Disc and a Shadow Punch on the Blissey because it never miss it misses. Oh, Blissey is even more annoying now than it usually is. Oh, at least they're both going down to this Perish Song. Oh, and he switches out! He has to switch out, doesn't he? Oh, that Blissey is going to be a huge problem. If I don't deal with it quickly, come on, kiss kiss, just wake up and hit that cast form with that shadow ball. Shadow. Oh, why does everything know Perish Song? Why does everything know Perish Song? So I'm going to switch out um, kiss kiss here into Alpha Teen. Nope, that wasn't. I'm going to switch out. Um, I'm going to hit it with another psychic on the cast form. I'm going to switch out kiss kiss into Alpha Teen here. Cameron can probably get a few more damages on it, and he keeps on going for the Perish Song. So I'm just going to go for another, um, I'm going to take it out with a, no, I'm going to switch Cameron out here and go back out into Kiss Kiss, and I'm just going to go for straight for the Horn, um, Air Cutter on the Cast Form just to take it out, which means I can switch out with Alpha Teen after this, and, well yeah, uh, gain some other stuff. So, Alpha Teen learns Sleep Powder, which, and Alpha Teen's... Uh, I'm going to taunt the Blissey actually, and while well, I switch out into Cameron. And so this, uh, come on, outspeed, and no he doesn't outspeed, okay. Kiss Kiss is still asleep. Uh, okay, that means I, could ju I just need to stall it out by switching my Pokemon out. Over and over, just to stall out these Perish songs while the Blissey kills itself. Uh, yeah, 
I'm just gonna switch out again just so the Blissey can hurry up and kill itself. Yeah, Blissey just goes straight for the minimize as yeah, I'm just gonna hit it with the sh just go for the barrier and the shadow of claw. And Blissey is going to die. And goodbye, Blissey. You were extremely annoying to dis deal with, but Nah. I'm gonna go and run and heal up quickly. Oh no, Titos. No, don't you dare die on me. Don't you dare die on me. How much HP have you got? You've got enough. Come on. Oh, I might have to use that potion in my bag. He's got 21 left. Yeah, that's gonna be alright. He's gonna make it in here fine. So we're just gonna heal up here and then we'll jump straight back in and take down the gym leader, Roxanne, here. And I hope I, hope I do. I hope I don't actually lose anyone here. And then we're going to continue on with the storyline where we go and have to save Pico from the team Aqua Grunt. I think it's Pico, the Wingle's name. I'm pretty sure it is. So let's see who Roxanne is bringing to this battle in this Nunslock randomizer. Let's play. And he's bringing a Macargo, so that is not probably not the best. She uses an X accuracy. What a bitch. And Macargo goes to the. I'm just going for Horn Jewels here. And he gets the grass whistle off. Alpha team falls asleep. I'm just gonna go straight for the air cutters, hoping it doesn't have the uh, fire move at the minute. Uh, a couple more air cutters might take it down. Yeah, it's gonna. T oh, grass whistle. Oh, why is people with the state the status move today? I know, just knocked my mic, so sorry about that, everyone. But oh, it's two things that are asleep now. Breaking sleep clause here, mate. You're breaking the sleep clause here. You'd not be allowed in Smogon this if you break in sleep course here come on and he gets confused come on yes he gets some water pulse off and takes it down Tito's pulling through for us there and he's got an alt area and my only thing to deal with dragon types is asleep no 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 so alpha team you could just hit it with a um no no my strongest pokemon is down no this is not good this is not good this is not good. This really isn't good. Come on, Titos, please take it down. No, I'm gonna have to heal you up here. Thank God I got that Moo Moo Milk earlier. Oh, I've lost Alpha Teen. No, <laughs> our first death of the series has been Alpha Teen. I can't believe I've lost him so quickly. He was going so strong as well. Oh no, I didn't even see what it says. Oh, okay, that's all right. I can deal with that easily. Oh, thank God he misses that. Oh. Lefties as well. This thing is so bulky. Come on. Uh, as long as it keeps on missing these disables, I'm happy. Come on, keep dragon clawing it. Come on. Why does it keep on missing these disables? I really don't know. But Titos levels up to level 14. He's coming through for the team here, and we've had our first death in our gym leader battle against Roxanne. But we have gained the stone badge, guys. We've gained the stone badge, so... And T TM39, let's have a look what it is. I'm kind of hoping it's half decent. Come on, please be hard. Nightshade? Ooh! Anyone learn Nightshade, isn't it? Identical to the user's level, so that could come in handy in a little bit. Actually, no, that's really handy at the earlier stages. So, yeah. Could Titos learn that? Um, I think he could. He's my highest level Pokemon, so... No, 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 he's got decent moves anyway. Yeah, I might save night, Nightshade till later on. But, get out, and there goes the Aqua Grunt, and here comes the Devon Worker chasing after him. So we're going to put Alpha Teen in the PC box, in the death box. So at the end of this series, we can look back at all of the Pokemon we have lost, and we can mourn for their dear, dear hearts. But, we have lost our first Pokemon today. Let's rename this Wallpaper, de wallpaper Dead. <laughs> That's nice and positive. I'm sorry Alpha Team, but I did not expect that Altaria to be running the wing attack. I'm sorry, but you got to end up in a dead box. I'm going to take the item though. Oh, okay, I have no. The item is going to have to stay there then, because it's on him. Uh, no, maybe not. There's a way to move it. Yep. I'm taking the item. <laughs> I am taking that item, and I am putting it on Titos now. Oh, pick up ability. Um, Kiss Kiss has picked something up. And um, what has she picked up? It is... Fluffy Tail? Wait, what's the Fluffy Tail do? I feel like Fluffy Tail does something half decent. Use to 
flee from battle with any wild Pokemon. Oh, alright, that's alright. If I get caught in like a battle with a fucking. <laughs> with like a uh, Kyogre or something. Uh, did I even heal up? I'm pretty sure. I no, I didn't heal up. Okay. Let's have a quick run over into here. Let's pick up the HM1 cut as well while we, while we are here. Because it's the house next door to the. Um, to the Pokemon Center here, so let's just leave here and run across to the um, Cutter's house. Let's talk to him and pick up Cut. Uh, let's just spam <laughs> past the talking. Uh, and come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, oh, I had to talk to him again, didn't I? Typical. Okay, let's leave the house and let's just run up here. Let's start on our way towards getting um, uh, Pico back. And Devon, well, whatever that Devon guy wants. So let's see what this item is. It's a Max Repel. We've already had our Pokemon for this route, but uh, Silicon, no. Let's go, let's battle this trainer here. Wonder what he's going to be running. He's got a Marrow, which is pretty easy. Just Dragon Claw it. Take it out in one. And I did not see that, so I'm just going to have to stay in. He's got a Squirtle, ooh. And, oh, yep, Squirtle with Static. Oh, that is quite good. Oh, if I got, oh, I haven't even got a Palos heal on me. I'm gonna switch out and train, some, and train Cameron up for a little bit as I go up into here and battle this trainer here. Oh, that's another Silcoon. I'm just gonna, I'll just sidekick it and do quite a bit. Yeah, pretty much take it out with that sidekick. And there we go. I took it out. Cameron is leveling up here, and apparently his Pokemon rule that's not arrogant or anything. Oh, he's got nursing. Oh, I've got that brick break though. He sets up the standstorm, which is good for me because I'm not going to take damage from it, but he is. So I'm going to hit it with another um, brick break here and take it out as Cameron is leveling up. As he's going to become a big part of the team because Sand Slash is awesome. So I'm going to run down here and battle this next trainer. As I go towards the cave, I can catch another Pokemon as I enter the cave. So that is quite, quite good. So I'm going to psychic this man keep for super effective damage and take it out with one hit. So, yeah, I have no idea how long this episode is so far, so give me a second. Uh, it's always 12 minutes, I've, I can still go on. I'm going to get Pico back before the end of the episode, I've decided now. So, Pico is going to be mine. He's got a Golem and a Heracross. Oh, these guys are, these guys are carrying some power. So I'm going to Psychic the Heracross, and I'm going to go straight for the Water Pulse on the Golem. Psychic on the Heracross takes it out with one hit, as um, he sends out an Eevee for the next thing. Twin Needle won't do much, but Titos gets paralyzed. I'm gonna go back and use the Brick Break. Oh, okay. I'm gonna Brick Break the Eevee as I go for the Water Pulse on the Golem again. Brick Break takes it. It looks like it takes the Eevee down to its Focus Sash. Oh, Titos is getting parahaxed here. The wall sh he shattered that Reflect as well, which is good with Brick Break. Oh, this Water Pulse. This. Oh, okay, that's alright. That rollout was getting scary for a second. But we all know about. Ah, oh, Whitney's Milk Tank. We all know the sheer power that thing can cause when it, when it gets his rollouts going. But, um, yeah, we jump straight into this battle here as he sends out a Venomoth, as I send out my um, uh, Sand Slash, and I hit it. Oh, God, that did a lot of damage, but it was a crit, so. Cameron is leveling up, becoming a big part of our team here. Did he just say Spiro? I'm pretty sure he did. I have not really anything to deal with it, so I'm just going to go straight for the Psychic and take it out there. So, yep, we're going to run up here and let's talk to this guy as he's lost Pico. And let's um, grab this item up here first, actually. Come on, let's just grab this item. Oh, TM33, which is Screech. Yep, TM33, which is apparently Screech. So, I now have that. Oh, let's see what our encounter is for this one. And we get a Wobbuffet. Oh, God, that's quite cool, actually. Why did I go for a barrier? I was spamming speed up too quick. So let's brick break this Wobbuffet and hope not to do too much damage. I can hit it. Oh, magnitude. It's got... Oh, okay, that did, like, nothing. So let's hit it with another one and... Hydro Cannon! Oh, my God. Cameron nearly went down then. i got to send out Titos because I'm going to send him out while he's recharging. And then I'm going to chuck a Great Ball at... Um, it's what I felt. I really thought I was gonna lose my sand slash then, but this Wobbuffet is just oh, hydro cannon though, man. OP. <laughs> Wobbuffet with hydro cannon, man. That's just OP. Come on. I don't want to be able to um, 
see, I'm gonna just, I wanna go for a really weak move. But I don't have anyone that really is, has got weak moves. Oh, come on, stay in the Pokeball. Come on, please stay in the Pokeball. No, no, okay. Um... Yes, we caught the Wobbuffet. So... I promised my girlfriend that I would name this one after her, so I'm sorry guys. But the next Pokemon I catch will be... Uh, will be named after you guys, so remember to answer the comment, qu well, the question in the comments, and this will, and then I will pick, I, you'll have the chance of becoming a Pokemon in the next episode, so this, I promised my girlfriend I'd name it after her, so here we go, so I'd name, so this is going to be called Samantha, even though it's a guy, I'm going to name this Pokemon Samantha, because, oh, why not, um, but I said I would name something after her, and, oh yeah, so, And let's just let's check out this Wobbuffet here. It is holding a TM32, and it's got Levitate, which is all right. So it is running the Screech, the Scary Face, the Hydro Cannon, and the Magnitude. It's it's looking quite good. That special defense, though, that special defense. This thing is going to be an absolute wall. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna heal it up quickly because I could. Put, I'm gonna start using this because Wobbuffet is quite cool. So I'm going to grab this item up here, which is a choice band. Oh, yes. Get in the competitive, get in the competitive advantage here. So who needs more attacking boosting? Is it, yeah, choice band is, um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, oh, I am going to give this to um, Cameron. And I'm going to heal him up quick. Oh, I didn't, shouldn't have. Oh, I'm going to switch him around. I'll probably end up using that choice band later when I have some an attack that will hit most of the types. So let's go and battle this guy here and get Wingle back for the old man. As we're going to end off the episode here. So he sends out a Geodude. I send out some, well, my Wobbuffet. I'm going to hit it straight with that Hydro Cannon. Oh, God, that did a lot. But I'm just going to hit it straight with that Hydro Cannon and take it straight out. And the Wobbuffet is going to be... Look at it. It just looks so awesome. So, I've obtained the Devon Goods, and in comes the old man, and I can't even remember, Mr. Brinley, and he's going to tell us about how we can get a ride to whatever the next place is called with him. Oh, why couldn't I have caught a Blastoise? Oh, I would have loved to have a Blastoise. I'm just going to switch out to Titos here, because um, Titos can take a hit quite well and run away. As I leave this cave, and I'm going to end the episode there, guys. So, oh... God, what's happened? Oh, so don't forget to answer the comment question. Um, well, the question in the comment question of the day, which is, I completely forgot, but I, I said it earlier in the episode, so just remember to answer it. And thanks for watching, guys. Um, Turtwig out.